So Willie was at peace with himself. He knew what his purpose was. Will, purpose, power, knowledge, wisdom, understanding. And many of us already know what Willie would want us to do, to carry on in any small way, any part of what he cared about, whether it's working with youth or finding a way to be kind to other people in your daily lives. He would tell me he didn't want to achieve anything fantastic for himself if everybody else couldn't be a part of it. There are so many young people here at the gym telling me stories about Willie and I'm seeing what it's done for them. Everybody who misses Willie has been so great about supporting each other and it's a very healing thing to be at Willie's gym and being around these young people. Uh, it makes me feel good. The Austin Foundation create access and opportunity for youth and families who otherwise may not be able to afford health and wellness, a way to be able to come in and be experience fitness, the components of fitness, through exercises and nutritional classes that's going to make them a better person, a better citizen, a healthier citizen, that's going to cause them or support them in helping someone else. What it was a giving, he was such a giving person, all he did was give to each and everybody. He was just an easy guy to love, you know. Watching some of the kids that were uh, six, seven, eight years old, nine, 10, 11, 12. Uh, now some of the 15 year olds are in their 30s and the five year olds are teenagers. And you know, everybody's grown, but they're all still around. And uh, the people that we met at the time to the, to the person that they've grown into now, you know, because of their connection with Willie. And you feel like you've uh, made a, a worthy day it's when you're helping, helping people reach goals and introducing them to things that they don't know about, nutrition, fitness. It helps them in, in life. Say so, you know, no matter what your goal is, if you have a, a healthy body and a healthy mind, you're probably going to reach those goals that you're reaching for. The kids, uh, they look forward to uh, coming here. Uh, they say this is their home. Really had a way of just like he was full of life so like any other way of like drawing you to him so you didn't want to leave like when he closed it's like ah you got you really got to go home like we, we can't stick around and you know like talk some more about it, you know you know his his desire was to have a place for these guys to come not only to get them into fitness and nutrition but to keep them out of you know desiring something else yeah you want to keep this going this is a uh, uh it's, it's will's dream it's his, it's his, it's his whole it was his whole uh, uh, existence. We must have the youth to take part in advocating, to take part in promoting health, to take part as equal partners sitting at the table to be able to combat uh, these risks that we're facing. I, I just know, you know, what I know, that uh, what I feel, that uh, I know he's, he's around. I met Willie Austin when I was 14 years old, so my eighth grade going to ninth grade summer. He just, he just showed me how to live a different way. And like, he just taught me to be, well, the way that I put it is a human being. He realized how important it was of touching other people. And he wanted to make sure everybody that was around him felt that and did it in their own life. He like cared. He didn't just like lift. Like he was like on you, like, come on, you got it. You got it, come on. like. And every time you get done, he was telling you how good you looked. He was telling you it was easy for you, you know, even though you're sweating, telling him it was hard. Like he, he would build your confidence slowly, even if you didn't have the courage to build it yourself and step outside of your box. He had a way of doing it. And even though it, it took something this tragic to happen, I believe that now his name is going to be bigger than it ever was because he has a legacy that he left behind. We're looking at how could we affect transform their lives. How could we make them, uh, not only to get them involved in eating properly and, and moving and, and, and physical activity, uh, but to so that they would be able to pass it on to someone else, so that they would take and touch the next person in a way in which the next person have no other choice but to touch someone else. Me and Willie go back a long way. It's more than 25 years. I've always felt his heart, you know, because uh, I could see what he was trying to accomplish. It's the fact that these kids have a chance to get off the street, 
You know, they don't have to find something. They know that they can come to Willie Austin's. Willie has a way of touching your soul. And when he touches your soul, he's not going to let go. And you're going to feel him. Like we feel him. There's not a day that goes by that I don't feel like I can reach out and call him. And that's why I'm here every day. Because I feel like he's here. He's, his presence is here. I mean, like I said, you know, he's probably looking at me right now like, no, what are you doing, man? You got to live up to the, you know, you got to, you got to be, you know, talk positive, stay positive. What you crying for? I'm around you. I mean, it was a blessing to have him in my life as long as I've had him. But for him to be gone and not being able to have him, oh. Hard. I got plenty more for you, Willie. I do. It's a thing about having strength inside and out and having the quality of life to be able to serve your purpose on the planet. We're really going to get somewhere with this. We're really going to make a difference.